Sunga kar panjir gyangarum Mai fada da chikawa wanyum Malam muna surjarum Wanda ke damun damu It's a protest that caught the attention of the country and turned all eyes to Kaduna State. Hundreds of teachers on the streets voicing their disagreement. This reaction trails the state government's decision to sack over 21,000 primary school teachers. Kaduna State is one of the oldest states in Nigeria and the former capital of the old northern region of Nigeria. The state is home to many institutions of learning that can only be found in the state. The Nigerian Military School, the Nigerian College of Aviation Technology, Zaria, the Nigerian Institute of Leather and Science Technology, the Nigerian Institute of Transport Technologies area, among others. The state is also home to one of the largest and oldest universities in Nigeria, the Ahmad Bello University area. As a hub of educational institutions, the state in the year 2000 adopted the motto, Center of Learning. But this unique status is in stark contrast to the condition of education in the state, especially in public schools. Good morning, how are you? I am a public school product and a very proud one at that. The other leaders of this government also went through the same kind of public school experience. In May 2015, Malam Nasser El-Rofai was sworn in as governor. He came with a plan that had education as one of its main priority areas. Upon my election as governor of Kaduna State, what I found as far as the state of public education was concerned was quite shocking. Uh, when we were taking over during the briefings, the then chairman of uh, the State Universal Basic Education Board told us that at least half of the children in our primary school sat on floors. They didn't have desks and chairs. And I remember the question I asked him was, so what have you been doing about it? PDP has been the government in power for 16 years. You are coming here to tell us that over half of the children are sitting on floors. What have you been doing about it? And he, he looked uh, frazzled. He, he didn't have a response. We fired him that day. Okay, we didn't wait to finish taking over. He was, I think he was the first uh, official uh, that we inherited that we sacked. Uh, we have the facilities, that is the buildings, you know, in very, very terrible shape. Uh, so many number of out-of-school children in the state. Uh, disoriented teachers, you know. Uh, generally, our schools have not been conducive for learning. Uh, we already know that there is difficult, uh, there is difference between, you know, a schooling and learning. Uh, most of the schools that we call schools have not been really uh, very good places where our children or students can learn. What happened? Chapter 
This school was in deplorable condition because uh, about four or six classes during the rainy season, we cannot teach in those classes. So uh, during that time, the PTA, the PTA uh, contributed a lot of money to of lead those classes, but our effort cannot uh, uh, meet the, our requirement. Uh, apart from rain, rain uh, in the classes, all the floors, the decks were broken. The floors were in deep holes. We also try to uh, contribute money to fill the holes in the class, in the classes, to re uh, repair the dexes in the classes. But most of our students were sitting on the mat because we had to buy mats to enable the students, uh, the pupils, sit. Babi Gara Amagaranta, Amakuma Dagabaya, Zuong Gomna, Waka Gara Makagas, Naman, and Mana Sam in Change Yawa, Ga and Samuko Jiru, Da Makaranta, and Daka Nanka Sana, Haka Yara Siki Zama. Zaka Gang Yara na Monday Yaru is go a bit. Umba Kachi Mishida Ali, I went from Namshi Bankagas Mabaka Chit, the Makaranta. So what a cash is a mazo did the tinny. To a mazo and Zu and Daka Managarana, but Allah Mongodim, Allah Mongodima, Erfai, Uma Allah Saip Haka. Allah will make our team a coinship. So, what is one she? But yes, Gakujuru, Yaras and Samukujuru, Gakum Macaranta and Gara, Macaranta as a minute, Gakuma Manasam Ali, the Zamu Zamu Rubutu, I may are Rubutu, Harasa Abuna. The Gansuma can see the Aran, Sena Jin Daddy, Yendaka Yara Macaranta. Zagaru and Zina Zua Macarada, Gara was the Amara Zua Macaranta. Say a hard carpy goma, Yaru is over Carantaba. A man's the carpy talk was sour up what I'm giving assembly. Kavunka's or carpy talk was Maragami assembly. Who I should ask. According to the governor and his team, in a bid to address the situation, they set out educational policies and programs aimed at eradicating illiteracy in Kaduna State, ensuring every child gets at least nine years of free basic education improving infrastructure and tools while attracting the best people in character and learning to the teaching profession. Okay, make sure you identify the specimen very well before writing. And make sure you, your spellings are what are very correct. Since we campaigned on the basis that will provide equality of opportunity for everyone in Kaduna State. We cannot even begin to fulfill our campaign promises without doing something about education because education is the foundation of social mobility. It is only through education that the life of a family can change in one generation. One educated person, one graduate in a family can change the entire family. And you can only achieve that through education. And if you're looking at poor people, you can only achieve it through public education because they cannot afford to pay for expensive private education. So when the government came, the first thing it does was to declare emergency in the education sector. Uh, by this, uh, a committee was formed you know, and uh, critical infrastructures that will have you know, the fortunes or the capacity of really reversing the ugly trend that we see in our schools were launched. Uh, normally when you give contract for projects, the mobilization fee for the execution of that contract is normally 20%. But in our own case, under emergency projects, the state government you know, approved 50% to be given. 
uh, that lead unprecedented, you know, infrastructural uplift in the schools had really helped in really addressing some of the observed problems that we've seen in June 2015. Uh, secondly, uh, I told you about 50% of the children, you know, were then sitting on bare floors. The government responded by awarding uh, furniture supply contracts to at least address this problem. Uh, what we have today is that substantial number of these furnitures had been supplied to the schools. But the situation is still yet to be ideal. You visit these schools, you'll still see students you know, squatting on ground or other arrangements that they have made. Uh, that really makes learning very, very difficult. Since the inception of this administration of Malam Nasser that is 2015, yeah. they really try and pick up one of our primary school, that is this primary school in Diam, mm. to be renovated. And thank God, they are starting the renovation. You can see the roof, they change the roof, and then the windows and the doors, the toilets, and then the issue of water. Definitely, when the regime na the market chiki, so he mana aki wonder zamu iya muche mo so mungode, because if you look at very well, kagani renovation like it didn't was when classes, dama bumiza to zamu sami so akaba ama alada halanta kansa mo kasa sami so akama muche ma wana government the mungode, in kajio kuma banya kagani. Uh, the From 2015 to date, we we have completed, you know, the renovation of 420 primary schools and 28 secondary schools. Uh, we have about 190 now uh, in various stages of completion. Uh, so uh, we are talking about 4,322 primary schools. We, are able, uh, we were only able to address 420. You can see that, you know, there is at least more to do by of the uplift of the facilities in schools. Uh, that explains the reason why the state government is exploring other financing options, you know, to address this, you know, emergency in the education sector. Some of the oldest secondary schools in the state, such as the Barewa College, Zaria, which has the governor, Nasser El Rifai, and late former president of Nigeria, Umaru Yaradua, as old students, was also given a long overdue facelift. <laughs> Among other schools that enjoyed this facelift is Al Huda Huda College, Zaria. in Amina College, Kakuri. And Government College, Kaguru.
there are so many cases of stealing, armed rob uh, robbery, as is people from outside, outsiders do come into our schools to steal because they are taking the advantage of broken windows, no doors, that is why they usually come to take away our properties. So you know, in this kind of situation, we are just living without security, no security, no peaceful environment. So, but right now, we are very comfort. Okay, as you can see, we have windows, doors, new paint, new everything, new furniture, mattresses, bunks, and everything. So we live very comfort here. I think we have uh, benefited from uh, the renovation of the hostels because uh, before the hostels are in a sort of dilapidated conditions. Uh, the places that uh, you will not even like maybe your son to sleep in. With this renovation. Uh, the, st the state government has renovated all the 10 hostels that we have. Total renovation, that is the roofing, the floor, the, the toilets, and uh, doors and uh, windows, all were renovated. According to the school administrator, the deplorable condition of public schools in the state is due to the neglect suffered under past governments. I think uh, it is out of negligence of the, the those in the hand of affairs, the government, that the previous government. You know that uh, this uh, college has been in Zaria for more than 60 years now. And uh, before this there were government. So you know that uh, it is a huge investment of uh, the former northern region here. So the, uh, the subsequent government, I think, uh, just some few years back, they neglected the, 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 the school, to, uh, not only the school, the education in, in particular. I think that is why it has de degenerated to that stage. With the development, the renovations, it gives the students a sense of belonging. When the environment is beautiful and the learning facilities are on ground, it encourages the students, being girls, they are more attracted and they zero their mind back to the class, put their minds off other things that might take their attention out. And you see that we have the interaction very closely here. So it's a fulfilling exercise. Before now, the situation in this school was terrible, especially the hostels. Uh, the hostels, if it is raining, these children they will have to pack their things and stay in one side. Now we had to write letters, SOS, to the Ministry of Education requesting them to salvage the situation for us. It was not done. Then we wrote again. We snapped all the dilapidated uh, structures and attached to our letter. And now we forward uh, the letter to Kaduna. So after that, we went for a meeting at the economic planning. So I complained to them. Uh, when I uh, presented my, uh, when I presented my report. They discovered that uh, uh, why I, I'm saying that my students are at uh, this number, but the remittance is not tallying. And I told them that with this uh, amount that we've been able to remit, I think about seven million or so, I told them that most of the students they have absconded due to the dilapidated nature of the school. They came. They renovated the hostels. After that, uh, they told me that they are coming for the second phase. I thought they were joking, but with time, they came, and you can see, they came and finished everything. That is the roofing. What is left now is to work inside the classes, and their intention for that was that because of the raining season, that if it rains, they can walk inside the class.
I want to appreciate the Kaduna State Government under the leadership of His Excellency, the Executive Governor, Malem Nasur Erufai, for the concern he had and he still has on the school. When I assumed office here in 2010, there were a lot of challenges in the hostel, classes, laboratories, and staff quarters. For the past five years that I worked from 2010 to 2015, when they took over, they have already renovated four hostels. One is under construction now. We have 24 classes. All of them have been renovated under his own regime. The same thing with laboratories. We have six laboratories. All of them have been renovated. Now, in the second phase of the contract, which we have approved and they are working on it now, they are working on staff quarters. We have 36 staff quarters, out of which more than 20 have been given approval. The school now is now looking good. Like for the toilets, now we are comfortable. Long before now, we find it very difficult when it reach a point that you want to ease yourself. You begin to think of where to go to. We are using the pit toilet, but because of this renovation, we now use water system, and it has now reduced the rate of toilet infection. The state government says out of the 4,322 primary schools in the state, it has renovated around 420. It has also renovated 28 secondary schools and approximately 190 ongoing projects are at various stages of completion. The state government says in a bid to also ensure that parents were encouraged to bring their children to school, it took steps to ensure that basic education is totally free. We, we looked at the numbers. Uh, we concluded that we are going to have to give up about 3 billion naira in school fees and levies and charges that were coming to the government because uh, basic education was not totally free. We decided that was something worth giving because those that send their children to public schools are actually the poorest people. So if we give them back a little bit of money, it only helps uh, their purchasing power, it fuels economic growth and so on and so forth. So, so, so we took these this decisions and this was where we started. Madam the Excellency, our work has just in Chanza. And some change a lot. So would Abu Bwa the Dama, Zaka Kabab Kamam Piti, then a Kagabab Ian Yaras Najin Daddy, Gakumana Abin De Dao Yakao, Na Abin Chinna, Nayara. To shi kuma ma kaga yara suna jin dadi wani mako sai ka je kawai ka gani yaro ma bai san makaranta ba dan je dan karami zaka an kawo shi an ce zo makaranta ba saboda kuma ba saboda wannan abincin da zai samu mu yace so if the plan is to reform the school system and give education its pride of place what led to the sacking of over 21000 teachers in the state with an urgent need for more classrooms and teachers in the second episode of this three-part documentary, we will look at steps and innovations being taken by the state administration to ensure teacher quality in the drive to reform the educational system for future generations.